Hello and welcome to today's video. We are doing a misty forest landscape. It looks complicated, but trust me, it is not terribly hard. And if you are new, you can do it. We're going to be mixing in some paint and dropping in some lighter and darker values of trees. So let's get your paint and your water and your pad of paper, preferably Arches cold press watercolor paper, and let's go ahead and do the wet on wet technique, which is what you see when I'm doing here. When you have your paper taped down, it's going to make it easier because we are throwing a tremendous amount of water at this painting. So wet your whole paper, get your favorite greens. I am using perline green, some deep sap green, and to mute it with a bit of Indian red. You can always spray your paper down to keep it wet. That is a nice trick that I always do. The first step after you've laid down your water is to lay down your paint. As far as composition, I am going to focus a majority of the mist in the center of my paper working its way from the right to the left, almost like it's going down the mountain. So I am just dropping in light and dark values of paint. So have fun with it. You can leave space in between. Just keep in mind this is where mist might be uh, coming through, you can take your brush like I'm doing here and have it almost act as if there's rolling mist. Because remember, fog and mist does have a slight uh, shade of color to it. Just keep adding um, different values of paint and richness of color to your liking. You can always remove paint by getting a paper towel and dabbing up your surface or dabbing it on your surface and adding in more. So I just play around a lot of times. I don't really know what I'm after with these misty forests. Uh, for the most part, I like to know what I'm doing, but there is so much creativity that you can do with just spreading the paint all over the paper. And that wet uh, surface is just going to feather it out and it's just magic. So you can see I've added some more water there where I sprayed it down. And now I am adding in some trunks. So I'm not worried about the branches yet. I just want to drop in some trunks and those are going to fade out. And then also they're going to spread out and feather out. So you don't have to worry too much. And when you look at a forest, uh, there's a lot of times where the trees don't have branches at all. They're just sticks. <laughs> so don't worry too much about it. They're going to be in the background. And now you can see I am adding in my trees. Now when I work towards the base, I really uh, smush is that the right word? That, there's got to be a better word. <laughs> I move that paint around and blend it is what I'm trying to say. Now, when I do these paintings, specifically forest paintings, I'm all over the place because I'm trying to give a balance of trees. So I have a tendency to overwork my painting and that's fine, you know, as long as you're, you're uh, not ripping the paper, but that is one thing to keep in mind with the wet paper. So right here I'm lifting paint, so taking a damp brush and going over it. If it's not removing enough, you can see that a paper towel will work as well. You just want to be mindful that since the paper is so wet that it can tear, even arches can tear. So, but I just continue to add trees to my liking. If you want to know how I get these trees, then I have a video that I filmed on how to get these style of trees and even the dry texture tree, which you can work a little bit on a wet surface. I think it does give a similar effect on dry paper. So these are fun. I really love these trees and they're really simple. So if you're new, you can do this. You can easily do this. And really the key here is number one, having a wet surface and number two, having that spray bottle to constantly mist your surface and it's going to spread out the trees and the secret sauce is layering that's what it is. It is layering. So you can see that I'm doing that right here and I'm throwing down some paint. Now you can see there's a bit of um, yellow brown in there. I accidentally 
dip my paintbrush in the wrong paint, but it's fine. It, it, it does work out. So, and if you want to play around with different hues of greens, then I definitely encourage you to do so because you can get a really cool painting. So now the paper has dried and I'm adding in the second layer. You can spray your paper down here, right? You don't need to re-wet the entire surface. You can just spritz your paper with a water bottle and then lay down your trees. Now I forgot to do that at this point, but that's okay. You can soften the base of the tree by adding a little bit more water to your brush and blending it out. And you can take that paint up and around that area to just help it blend a little bit more. If you're struggling with a little bit of the blending, add a little bit more water to the area where it's a bit harsher and just dab it with a paper towel. It's not going to remove the paint that you laid down earlier because that paint's already dried. Unless you start scrubbing your paper, then you might have some issues. <laughs> So you can see right there, I've added some water. You can drop in some paint and then just blend it out. Now, if you want a bit more texture, which I tend to do, then you don't need to blend it out fully. You can stipple in different, uh, different shades and create some really cool texture and do some dry brushing as well. So it's really up to you. But I continue to just add as many trees as I want and I'll let it dry and I'll work it again. So it just really depends on my mood and what I am after or what I feel looks good. And of course, that upper left hand um, area I will work on as well. Let me know, do you guys enjoy... Um, misty cold forest landscapes I'm assuming since you've stopped by <laughs> that you are curious so but let me know these are my favorite I get so excited to paint these and my favorite color is green so I just love it all right I want to point out before <clears throat> um, I forget now the paper's dry and I have decided to lay down some color you can lay down color without having wet your surface but I am going to let you know it's going to take a little bit more effort to blend but if you want the richest and darkest color right away then don't wet your paper first lay down the color and then add a little bit of water and then you can blend it but you can see all that texture in there and that's what I wanted to go for. If you don't like the texture and you really want those smooth blends, then it might be easier to wet your surface and then lay down your color. But play around and see what you, what you like. So it might surprise you. When I first started painting these uh, misty forests, I didn't want texture at all. I thought, oh, there's no way <laughs> that that looks good. But now I love it. But that's it, guys. That is... I hope that was simple. Let me know in the comments below if you liked this video. I have more misty landscapes that I've done. So leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.